this is Jet and Kate. I've uh, sent them on a, uh, a way to me outrun. Um, and just for the sake of time, I'm going to edit this video and cut it out, show them coming up, up in the other field up there uh, just to keep you from just watching sort of blank space. But I'm going to get two different views of this. Uh, um, if you look kind of straight ahead, there's another field up there. Uh, right here's the other end of that field. Uh, it's about a half a mile up into this field. Um, so they've been on a, it's about a, it's a half a mile out run here. Uh, these cattle are standing right up here at the edge of the road. Uh, you can see the dogs coming into the picture right there. Uh, I just wanted to show you two different, two views of these dogs uh, picking the cattle up, bringing them back uh, to where I'm at. Um, which this video really helped me out, kind of shows me what the dogs are doing because I can't, I can't see them, uh, you know, can't, can't see them at all. Um, and uh, what they'll do is they'll start them back down the hill right here in just a little bit, and we'll, uh, we'll switch back to the first view that you had of, the, of me sending them on an outrun. Now, like right there, I, I see Jet. He's pretty bad to cut one out. He'll cut one out and want to bite it, but, uh, you know, like I say, I'm a half a mile away. I can't even see the cattle, um, so I can't get on him too bad. I probably wouldn't get on him uh, even if I would have saw him do that. I might stop him lying down, just let that cow go on back into the herd. Um, but these two dogs work pretty good together. You see Kate working the right side. Uh, Jet's over here working this left side. Um, I think he puts a little much pressure on him right here, so he switches back to where both of them's over on the right side. Uh, there's about 80, I think there's about 80 couple uh, heifers in this group. Um, I let the dogs bring them as fast as they want to, if they're trotting, if they're walking, or running, or whatever. Uh, these heifers are on full feed. I mean, they feel pretty good. A lot of times they... You know they'll want to run, uh, uh, but the dogs do push them, you know, pretty hard. But uh, I had two dogs before and two four wheelers in the lane to get these cattle up, uh, and still couldn't hardly get them. Now I take two dogs, uh, and I can pin them any time of the day. Doesn't matter uh, if there's, uh, you know, if it's just about dark, if it's first thing in the morning, if it's 90 degrees and they're in the woods. About half of this pasture is woods. Uh, now we're back to the other view. You see them coming down the hill right here. Um, so on up in that pasture, as you see them coming down the hill over to the left, that's that's where we just were. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to be standing over here. You can't see me. I'm just out of view over here to the right. Um, we'll put them in this pen right here. And uh, and that's 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 the job that I want the dogs to do. I don't want to have to say anything to them. I hadn't told them anything so far other than way to me. Um, they'll bring a the cattle. They're crossing a branch right there right now. And I think right here, I don't know if uh, if if they missed one coming down the hill right there or let one fall back. But you'll see Jet over towards your left. You'll see him go back. Uh, I think right here in just a second you'll see him go back and pick one up there he goes uh, you'll see him go back and you'll see a cow uh, come up on the left side of that branch over there It'll be a white white looking heifer uh, Kate's over here to our right she's still pushing pushing cows um, you, know, you can see the cows have slowed down sort of spread out just a little bit uh, it, it kind of looks uh, easy, I guess, on the dogs, but now these these Holsteins don't like to bunch up. They just don't bunch up. They'll spread out. They just try to, uh, they'll try to get by with whatever they can get by with. They don't like to come to this barn uh, because, you know, nothing good happens here. They don't get fed here. They get sorted out. They get shots uh, and turned back out. So there's the only thing that's making these cattle come to the barn is the fact that the dog's gonna, he's gonna make them come. Uh, but these two dogs work real nice together. Um, uh, they they keep them gathered up uh, fairly well. I mean, they're spread out a little more than what I like to see them. Uh, but but they will 
uh, if we was out in an open field, they wouldn't let them get this spread out. You can see when we were up in that other field, I mean, they, they kept them gathered up pretty pretty close. But I uh, like to see two dogs work like this, not leave nothing uh, behind, you know, keep keeping their eyes open for, you know, anything that's wrong. You see Jet going over there to the left. They drifting a little too far to the left. There goes Kate over to the left uh, to sort of tuck these back in over here. As we get up here to the barn, uh, like I say, I don't like to say anything to the dog. Uh, now, when I'm training them, I'm barking out commands left and right. Uh, but after I get to get a dog trained, and uh, these two dogs here, I think Kate, she's uh, about three, three and a half, and Jet, he, uh, I think he turns two next month. Um, so they're pretty well trained as much as I'll train them. Uh, as much handle as I'll put on them and uh, I don't like to say anything to the dog unless I absolutely have to uh, when they get right here at the pen they know that them cows are supposed to go in the pen so I'm not going to be hollering you know come by and wave to me and all that stuff I try to let the dog think for himself uh, if it's just my opinion now if you don't do that then you'll forever be telling your dog, you know, come by, way to me, you know, uh, all this. Right here, th these dogs know that these cattle are supposed to go in that pen, and I'm not saying anything. You can, uh, I think you can still hear some of the audio uh, on this, but I'm not saying anything. I'm just waiting on them to put them in the pen. Uh, as much pressure as they want to put on them, uh, I just let them take their time and do their thing, but pretty two pretty nice dogs uh, that I've got here. Uh, just wanted to show you what that outrun looks like, what it looks like from the other end, and uh, the fact that, uh, you know, I don't say a lot to the dogs. I just send them, and uh, like I said, the only thing I've told these dogs is way to me.